Welcome in the kitchen. So glad y'all are here. Let's see what's wrong with this camera. There we go. Now we now we got it going. All right. Welcome, 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 one and off. You've been here before. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome into the kitchen. I'm Lynn, if you don't already know that. Um, we're gonna cook us some supper. We do every night at this time, don't we? Um, or most nights. Anyway. We don't go out a lot because it's expensive, and quite frankly, I don't care for it. So, um, we're going to fix us some apple cider chicken and a rice and right kind of like a rice pilaf dish to serve it over and some green beans, canned green beans, home canned green beans. All right. So, let's get started over here. I'm going to put you all over here on the stove so you can sit over here on the stove. All right, now then, can y'all see good? I think you can. I'll turn you down there into that pot here in just a minute. Just a minute. First, I want to get my stuff together. I should have already done that, shouldn't I? But y'all know me. I get in here and start to rummaging around and things get out of order. And I forgot to get our rice out, y'all. I did. I forgot the rice. So I'm going to need a cup and a half. And this is bismati rice. Is that how you say it? Bismati. 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 Whatever. Starts with a B. Um, cup and a half of rice. And to that, I'm going to add a cup of this right here. This is this vermicelli, vermicelli, just a pasta, like this right here. But I got this, it must be Ingles because it's a Larlin brand. Um, and I'm going to add a cup of that. If I can find a cup measure, if I can't, I'll get a half a cup and fill it up twice. Um, this is kind of what you have if you're, you know, in the rice kind of stuff. And y'all, to break that up, I just threw it right there in that food processor and let it go to chopping it and breaking it up because I started out breaking it by hand. That'll take you forever, and I'm not that patient. I'm really not. Um, I want to get it done. So, there we go. I'll be right back when I get together the rest of our stuff. I'm not going to make you all stand here and just look at this pot doing nothing. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got everything out, so we're, we're good for a minute, for just a minute. God, get me something to stir this. All right, y'all know I brown my rice. I toast it just a little bit. And I've got my verma, vermicelli in here and if you can just crunch it keep crunching up if you got some bigger pieces they'll just break just simple if you don't want them that big i wish i had some orzo but i don't have any i really like it in here um but i don't have any so we're going with what we've got tonight which is vermicelli so we're, we're going to do that um, and to it, I've got right here two cups of chicken broth, which is one can, and two cups of water. And uh, I've got two and a half cups of dry pasta rice in here. Okay. So that should be enough. If I need a little more liquid, I can add a little more water as it cooks. Um, if it's not quite done when the liquid's all evaporated and absorbed, then I'll add a little bit more. All right, while that's starting to brown, I'm gonna go ahead and take my beans. This is just a can of beans that I canned. And I'm gonna rinse them, dump them out of this water and rinse them, okay? At the sink. 
and I usually just use this little strainer right here. Right here, I'm just going just to strain them, rinse them, and put them in this pot right back here. There's our beans. Just a little bit of water. You don't need a whole lot. For two reasons. One, they're already cooked. Okay, you're just really heating them. They're already cooked. You just gotta heat them up a little bit. And this is starting to melt and brown a little bit. While that's going, I'm going to get out our bacon grease out of the refrigerator and put it in our beans. Now, some of y'all that buy bacon grease, I don't know why on earth you would do that. Um, every time, anytime you cook bacon, just put it in a jar and put it in the refrigerator. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna get me a spoonful right there and throw that right there with those beans. Put this right back in the refrigerator and it keeps forever, forever in the refrigerator. So, that's tip for the day. Don't buy bacon grease, save it. And I thought for a while I would bake my bacon, put it in the oven and bake it. I didn't fry it on top of the stove, and I didn't have any bacon grease. Well, you do, but it's it's not as flavorful, I don't think. Um, so when I get low on bacon grease, I start frying it again. When I've got plenty, I might put it in the oven or the air fryer. The air fryer cooks bacon wonderful, you all. really does. And... Um, all right, to this, I'm going to add some salt. It's not coming out too well. Because this is not the Morton salt, it's not got any additives in it. It clumps up. So, take this spoon handle and unclump it. Now it'll come out good. Y'all can see this stuff's starting to brown. I had four tablespoons of butter in there. About like I always do. Alright, now I'm going to add some chives. Just because I think that'll be good in it. And some parsley. Because you can't have too many greens. And I've got ground celery seeds right here. Because I don't have any celery. So this will add my celery flavor. Just like that. Turn this down just a little bit. It already looks pretty, doesn't it? Oh, and it smells good. We may have to adjust the seasonings, but that's okay. All right, let's throw in our liquid. All right, put the lid on it and let it cook. All right, turn that down. While this cooks, we're gonna get the other stuff together. I'm just gonna leave that sitting right there because I'll need that in a minute. All right. I'm going to bring y'all over here, kind of get you off the stove for just a minute, you know, because y'all don't need to stand up there high up on top of the stove. I'll turn those beans on. All right, here we go. Skillet. 
And to this skillet, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. And I'm going to start getting it hot. About medium heat. Don't want it to. Too. Too, 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 too. too. No, I don't. All right, we're going to make our sauce while that heats up just a little bit. I have here in this measuring cup a cup and a half of apple cider. A cup and a half of apple cider. All right, I'm through with these. Get those out of my way. To that, I'm going to add, oh, uh, let me look at my recipe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Two tablespoons of honey or close. tablespoons of honey. You can use brown sugar. You could use molasses. You could use, you know, any sweetener or leave it out altogether if you don't want it. Um, star of the show is the apple cider. And I need to add in some mustard. How much mustard? A teaspoon, I think, or half a teaspoon. I need to add in, I know I need a teaspoon of ginger. Here it is. Oh, I love ginger. We're going to make lots of gingerbread stuff. So y'all stay tuned. There's our teaspoon of ginger. Find my mustard. There it is, a tablespoon of mustard. That's what I thought. Teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever. Here we go. Let's see if this will come out. It calls for Dijon mustard. All I've got spicy brown mustard, so you know what? That's what we're going with. Y'all know that's, I just do whatever I've got. Especially when it comes to mustard, because I'm not a mustard person. I don't care for the mustard, but sometimes it just adds a little bit, but you really don't taste the mustard itself. All right, now then, let's see. Uh, that's about ready. I'm going to set this over here to the side. We'll finish it up here in just a minute. Okay. All right. Here's our chicken. Turn y'all around there so you can see in the skillet. Here's our chicken. This recipe calls for chicken thighs. But y'all know I don't like chicken thighs. I like white meat chicken, or I have chicken breasts, and mine are very thin, they will cook very fast, so this is a very quick dish, it is, very quick, let me wash my hands good, because I handled raw chicken, y'all know that you need to wash your hands, you gotta keep your hands washed, you gotta keep your hands washed. All right, now then, made a mess with the mustard. Of course, y'all know I always make a mess. I can always manage to make a good old mess, can I? All right, now this chicken, we're going to salt and pepper it. For that, I'm just using plain old salt. Just fine salt, just like this, just salt and pepper. Here comes Mr. Andy. Salt, pepper, and what else we need? We need some paprika, don't we? This is Hungarian paprika. I really like it. I get this down at the Mennonite store. If you all have a local Mennonite store, you all need to really be shopping there for all your spices. They've got such a huge variety of things, and they are just... Then we need to add some of these herb herbs. The recipe actually calls for rosemary and thyme, but that's basically what this is, plus a few other things, so I'm just going to sprinkle some of this around. It's always good on chicken, that herb de Provence. Herb de Provence. Love it with my chicken. Turn my beans down, because they're basically done. We need a little onion powder. Just going to sprinkle this across, just like so. 
This is just granulated onion, onion powder. Alright. And here's our sauce. I've also got to get out some garlic. Y'all know I put my garlic up in those little garlic pucks, garlic balls, whatever y'all call them. And I'm just stand here stirring this. Y'all can't really see that, can you? Just stand here stirring that mustard into that apple cider. Let me grab us some garlic. Here's our garlic right here. And I'm going to get a for four cloves. That's about two of these. I dropped that right in there. A little bit fell. Y'all know I saw on the top of this recipe, or not this recipe, don't think it was another one. And there was a word I'd never seen before. And it took me a minute to figure out how to pronounce it. I didn't even know it was a word. Autumnal. A-U-T-U-M-N-U-A-L. Autumnal. Like autumn. Didn't even know there was such a word. So I learned something. See, we want this to brown. That's not too brown. I'm going to flip them a couple of times. I'm going to go ahead and season this side of them. Just like I did that side. There we go. Now then, we're going to season them. Steak and no, we're having chicken. Chicken and rice. There's our salt. Our onion powder. Our paprika. And y'all know what I'm coming in with now. Our herbs. Well, this is one of my favorite spices. A blend, I guess it's an herb blend. It's not a spice, it's herbs. A blend of herbs. That's what that is. But I do love that. It just has such a good flavor. And, uh, all right, turn all those down all the way on low. I'll taste them in a minute, see if they've got enough salt. Browns. All right, here's our chicken. Let's try putting brown it's sitting. Y'all, this cooks so fast. <laughs> and you slice it this Not yet. You can have some cake later. <laughs> All right. This chicken is done. <laughs> we, need it to cook. we need it to cook just a little bit longer. First, we need our garlic and our and we're going to let it cook in this sauce and just reduce down. Okay? We just want it all to reduce down. I should make that garlic. It's not quite thawed out. Alright, now then. We just want this to all get so happy together. And put that over there in the sink to wash. Let's see what it tastes like. Yum, 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 yum. And y'all, I used apple cider. It's apple cider desserts. like you drink. Not apple cider vinegar. This is not vinegar. It's juice. Just like you drink. Um... This right here is what I used, right here. Apple cider, okay? Are you ready for a dance? So yeah, it's coming up to a boil right now. And I'm gonna let it sit here and cook. Are you ready for Halloween? Till it reduces down. 
and gets all happy and that thickens up that glaze just makes a nice glaze and thickens up on that chicken all right here's our chicken look how pretty it is look how thick that got that glaze has gotten thicker see i did go in there i'm gonna tell you all i'll be honest with you i had too much garlic so i went in there with a little more honey maybe a couple more tablespoons of honey and another half a cup or maybe three quarters of a cup whatever i had left in that apple cider jug and a little more onion powder and i cooked all that down um this took maybe 30 minutes to cook down i ended up turning it up higher more to medium high so it would cook down a little quicker because i was you know i was gonna be here all night waiting on it to reduce down um so let me get us out a thing here for our rice show you how i serve this or how we're going to eat it tonight here's our rice see put some of our rice peel off there on that oh well, good grief. It all just fell over. It all just fell over. All right, I got us some rice on here. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get these smaller pieces of chicken because this will be my plate. All right. And then you're going to take some of this sauce that is really, it just started reducing and it didn't quit, y'all. A little bit of that sauce on there. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. Let's get some pork and taste it. All right, I'm going to turn y'all up here so you look at me, so you can watch me eat. Coco's rattling her dish. She's ready for supper. All right, here we go. It's just about a rice and about a chicken. It's hot. I just took it out of the skillet. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. I'll make it again if I can hang on to apple cider. Because you know Mr. Andy. He likes it. He sure does. All right. Y'all remember what do I always tell you? Like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. That'll be all for this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.